Hey guys, it is XC here, and today this is Those Nights at Randoms, and we're gonna be playing it, alright? So, uh, I usually don't do the intro like that, but I decided to do it for some reason. So, yeah, this game is actually like a painting type of FNAF fan game, I believe. Kind of like Five Nights at Sonic's a little bit. So, yeah, let's go ahead and check it out. So, first of all, we have main game, which is the only option that we really have at the moment, obviously, because we haven't gone through the sixth night. We also don't know what this right here is. And the extras menu is currently locked. So, yeah, let's go ahead and hop into a brand new game, man. Let's do this. Oh, I like this like VHS tape type of like vibe right now. This is really cool. Um, but yeah, night one. Here we go, man. Here we go. A lot of people have actually uh, been checking this game out recently, and I was very, very interested in uh, doing so. So keep your eyes peeled. Something. Oh my god. Uh, I, I should have uh, started reading that as soon as it started. Press E to mute the call. I'm not gonna mute the call, guys. I am gonna leave him on, you know, for him to explain and everything. But uh, I might skip it for you guys. Um, but yeah, so far 11 p.m. Are you serious? We have to start at 11. That was incredibly quick. Okay, so the phone call's already over. Pretty much, he just said, like, you know, the classic FNAF lines, like, uh, well, I don't, I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't paying attention all that much. What I usually pay attention to in phone calls is actual mechanics themselves. I wasn't, you know, listening all that much, I'm not gonna lie. But it wasn't even all that long. This was literally, like, a 20-second phone call, you know what I mean? So, yeah, pretty much, so far, this is what we know. This right here is the main stage. I'm wasting a lot of power, by the way. I gotta go ahead and chill out on that. That's for sure. I gotta go ahead and chill out on that. We do not want to waste that much power. And by the way, I like this like uh, this plushie right here. You know, I would say it's foxy, but at the same time, it's not. So, um, yeah, because this is uh, this is a random animatronic, I guess. You know, those nights are randoms. But yeah, the stress level as well, I, I guess I gotta keep that down because whenever you uh, turn on the light, you get more stress, I believe. Or maybe once you actually check the monitor. That, yep, okay, okay, that makes more sense. Oh, oh my god, they both moved, are you kidding me? There's no way, there is no way. Okay, I gotta, these cameras are like a little bit weird because you literally have to, you know, uh, click the small little icons. But uh, where are the animatronics? Okay, so there, there's that one, and that's actually the plushie that I have on my desk right here so yeah go ahead and keep that in mind it's 1 a.m by the way so so far so good um turning on the lights were good as well let me go ahead and see if there's anybody super close to me though how are we already at 67 percent that's crazy and by the way i don't know when this uh game ends i don't know if it's at 6 a.m or not which kind of sucks because you know we're we're currently at 1 a.m. only only went through what like two and a half hours or so by now, and we have 62% power. So definitely not a good sign for the future. Oh, oh my God! I clicked that and it didn't do anything for a second. That's why I was kind of scared. Um, but yeah, my stress bar is going down. We gotta make sure that that keeps on going down. We cannot get overstressed. Well, I'm pretty sure we're dead, okay? Um, can we check the vent, by the way? Like, is there a way to actually check that vent in front of us? Or is that just, you know, another, uh, like a TV or something? It kind of looks like that as well. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and see. So our stress level is uh, pretty good right now. Nobody's super close to me, which is very good. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Right. So this animatronic is actually right next to... Uh, well, pretty much right in front of me, actually. And then as soon as it moves once again, it's going to go over to this door right here. So we definitely have to keep in mind um, of that and make sure that it doesn't get anywhere closer. Um, but yeah, is that is this the only two mechanics, by the way? I'm not sure if, you know, later in the nights we're going to have to... Oh, God. Oh, God, it moved. It moved. It moved. There it is. It's literally right here. It's literally about to come over here. This is bad. This is incredibly bad right now. Okay, nobody's over there, though, so we, we can really just focus right here for now. And it is 3 a.m. already, which is very good. But yeah, this is the West Hall 2. And is this the West Hall 1? Yep, it is. Okay, right. We definitely have to keep in mind of that right there. Do not want to lose track of that. That's for sure. And I kind of don't want to check the other cameras just yet because I'm literally solely focused on this animatronic. Oh, and my stress level is super high, too. I forgot about that. Oh, what if, oh God, oh God, oh God. What if my stress level actually, I thought my stress level was gonna go up as I actually saw the animatronics. So that's a really good thing that, that you know, it doesn't do that. But where, did it just like respawn? It still has not respawned. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and check it out once again. Oh God, here we go. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Nobody's over here, 
by the way this is the parts and service uh room which is cool um 4 a.m guys 4 a.m nobody's over there either so we do not have to worry about any type of animatronics just yet um it looks like this like foxy looking like animatronic oh no what are you kidding me is there no jump scare what just happened what in the world I really don't get what just happened. <gasps> I overstressed, didn't I? Oh, no. I probably overstressed. Oh, that's tough, man. Let's go on and go over to it again. That is really annoying. I'm not going to lie. Um, maybe I, I I just was completely just not paying attention to the overstressed bar. So that's probably why. I'm sorry if I uh, if you guys probably, you know, noticed me getting overstressed and I just didn't do anything about it. Yeah, okay, so some characters move faster than others. Keep your guard up. Okay, so this foxy looking like animatronic is probably one of the faster ones out there. And yes, I'm going to go ahead and mute the call real quick because we've already listened to it, all right? So we're good. Um, but yeah, there are three animatronics right here. I'm really just looking forward to, you know, seeing whether there's any other type of uh, animatronics along the building as well. So this is the east wing. Um, there's like extra parts of animatronics and bones as well in here So this kind of looks like oh and there's also a pitchfork and, and a knife it looks like maybe um, So yeah, this right here is definitely not a very good room and it says employees only so you know what they're up to in there Okay, but yeah, that's kind of weird because you have that and then also the parts and service room as well um, But yeah, so to do replace cat dollar wait cat colors um with dog colors i don't know okay so is this another animatronic as well and th that's on the party stage so okay um but yeah i'm definitely guys guys i know i know last time i probably just didn't check the stress bar this time i'm aware okay i'm constantly checking it every single time because i do not want to die that way again okay i definitely want to die in a way where i actually you know get killed and get jump scared or something i don't want to die by just overstressing. that's lame man that is very lame um but yeah so far so good um i do want to go and check the other uh cameras so far i feel like i've missed a few cameras um but yeah okay so this is a new one this is the utility closet and there's oh god there's definitely a poster of, over there for three eyed animatronic that's kind of crazy i'm not gonna lie that would be op oh look at this bb's corner okay i gotta go and chill out on that obviously guys i do not want to get overstressed like the last time but there was definitely another animatronic in there or definitely just a poster of one um that's for sure oh yeah by the way i definitely want to see you know later on in the night about this vent right in front of me because now i do know for a fact that it is actually a vent because if you go over to this camera right here um wait hold up yep this camera right here it says ventilation so that is most definitely a vent in front of me okay um and it looks like this is how they get through the vent or up the vent i mean um can they get through it over here as well i don't know but so far so good 1 a.m and uh, we're not overstressed, which is obviously the most important part in this game, man. I'm not going to lie. That stress mechanic is kind of OP. They got to go ahead and nerf that a little bit, in my opinion. Um, but it's only 1 a.m. Or it's only night 1. It is 1 a.m. too, but yeah, I was trying to say it's only night 1. So you never really know. Um, actually, it probably will get harder now that I'm thinking about it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just let this stress level go all the way down real quick. And then we can go ahead and check up on the cameras. Alright guys, so the stress level is pretty low right now, and by the way, that animatronic that was trying to kill me last time around, it's literally right there again, so we definitely have to watch out for that, that's for sure. Um, and by the way, I think, I'm, I think I might be better off just by a slight, yep, okay, I think I might be better off just by a slight little bit when it comes to my power this time around guys and by the way my stress level is pretty much all the way down so we're doing good things out here man we are doing some great great things um but yeah about the vents because this is very important to me i don't really um by the way what in the world is this this looks like it, it doesn't really look like an animatronic to me but at the same time it does oh yeah it is it is it looked like a bug at first to me actually like a uh oh god okay we're good we're good i i was kind of scared there for a second i thought this right here was like a spider or something like a spider plushie but no it's actually an animatronic it definitely looks like one and it says oh my god that was oh that just caught me completely off guard bro oh my god 
Ooh, okay, okay, I should have been checking, I should have been checking, what was I doing? I was trying to talk about BB's Corner, and it's not even part of this night probably, so I should not have been doing that, man. Jeez, that was super crazy. Okay, um, and yeah, the, the tips did warn me, actually. It said that Foxy, or, I'm, not, I'm just gonna call you Foxy, I don't care what your real name is, man. You look way too familiar to Foxy, so, um, yeah, Foxy, um, sorry for the d developer or people who worked on the storyline and everything but uh yeah i'm just gonna call you foxy bro um foxy yeah about you the tips warned me that it was the fastest animatronic pretty much um it said like watch out because some of the animatronics are faster than others and it had foxy in there so that is probably why i got killed i gotta go and pay more attention to foxy let's go and try this one more time and hopefully we can beat night one in this video guys that's the goal man that is the goal approximately 10 hours later okay what in the world is this this is the oh my god that's mickey from treasure island oh my god what is happening oh okay i i don't care i don't care uh there is definitely something in there that was that an easter egg or something like what okay maybe it was just playing tricks on me i really just don't know at this point that was creepy i'm not gonna lie at all that was incredibly creepy um yeah that was definitely mickey from treasure island by the way but what i'm okay i'm gonna close that door and i can tell you guys why it's because i'm scared of foxy i'm very very scared of foxy oh it's okay it's okay um let's open that okay um yeah i'm very very scared of foxy because last time it completely just jump scared me out of nowhere and by the way i found out that i found out that you can actually charge the power over here i didn't know about this guys i had no idea this entire time i could have been charging my power and yeah, I, I literally had no idea. Okay, so th that animatronic is literally about to come in. I gotta go and make sure that Foxy does not come in though. That's the real problem right now is keeping, keeping, wait, what am I trying to say? Uh, making sure that Foxy does not come to my office. Okay, oh my God, I, I keep on hearing footsteps. I don't like it, I do not like it. I gotta go to just keep checking this. Oh my God, okay. Guys, this is very bad. This is incredibly bad. Okay, right. This animatronic, can you please just go over there so I can start charging my power? Oh, oh my god. I felt like I just saw something. Okay, okay. We're good. We're good. Oh my god. My power. Five. Oh, I thought. I swear to God, I thought my my uh, my uh stress bar overcharged again. I was like, wait, what in the world? But we actually did it, bro. 6 a.m. So this game does go up a... Uh, this game does go up to 6 a.m. even though it starts out at 11 p.m. So I like that. I really, really like that. I thought it was going to go up to like 8 a.m. or something. But there we go. We actually did it. Night 1 of Those Nights at Randoms rebooted. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, then make sure you go to leave a like on it. That's how I'm able to tell whether or not you guys want to see more videos like this. And uh, we can possibly make a series out of this as well. This game seems really, really cool. It gives me a lot of vibes from like Five Nights at Sonics and stuff like that. So yeah, I really, really do appreciate you guys watching. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll go to see all of you in the next one. Peace and love to everybody out there, man.